Präsidentin. Madam President, colleagues, the situation in the state of Manipur in the northeast of India is serious. Since May, in demonstrations between two uh, population groups, the mainly uh, Hindu Maitai and the mainly Christian Kuki, over 120 people were killed. Over 50,000 people are fleeing. Tw over 250 churches, theological institutions, Christian schools and hospitals have been burnt down without the perpetrators being prevented by the local authorities. We call on the Indian government to do everything to restore order, to bring the perpetrators to justice and to stop excessive violence. We wouldn't like to wag fingers at anybody from here, but with this resolution from the European Parliament, we call on the most populous uh, democracy in the right uh, just to do what it is uh, duty-bound to do in its constitution, to maintain religious freedom also for Christians in Manipur. One thing, colleagues, has irritated me with the negotiations with the other groups, how difficult it is for the Greens and uh, colleagues and those on the, the left to say that uh, it's Christians who are affected. They um, wriggle with platitudes about discrimination and religious in intolerance, and they can't uh, state what is obvious. Persecutions of Christians are real, and it is our duty to make sure that they, they stop, also in Manipur. Thank you, Mr. Zimon. Pierre Larotourou is the next speaker. Mes amis, friends, in Manipur, in northeast India, violence has claimed more than 120 victims over two months. 120 people killed. 1,700 houses have been destroyed. 250 churches, not just one or two churches, 250 ch churches and 40,000 people are displaced because they've run away from the violence to save their skins. This is a dramatic situation. We have to do everything possible to end the violence. Since he entered power in 2014, Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister, has been implementing a radical nationalist Hindu... Uh